Hello, Capricorn, getting ready to do your reading. This is how they are feeling about you. What's going on in their mind? All right, so for Capricorn, put this stuff out here, Capricorn, sun, moon, rising. Capricorn, what they're thinking and feeling about you, Capricorn. All right, so you're starting with the three of cups. Ooh, there you are. Now, this is nice energy. So you're already in the first row, second card. This is, now, three of cups probably is a date or being, you know, happy to be with you or they've just met you or I'm not reading this as third party or anything yet um, because this looks like them wanting to be with you again, magician wanting to, okay, we have nine of coins. So they could also be an earth sign, but this is slower movement. Okay, that's faster. That's good. Chariot, they could be a cancer. Seven of swords, could be a Sagittarius with temperance and the page of cups. Okay, let me look at this. Okay, under the deck is nine nine of swords okay that kind of makes sense with the seven of swords showing up this could be someone who does a little bit of a game player but we'll see because we have like the three of cups being happy going out with you being around you whether this is new or old magician wanting to like be with you again wanting to take action but nine of coin as you all know is very slow energy unless it's an earth sign you're, you're dealing with but chariot is fast so it's kind of two different energy seven of swords can be hiding something from you only showing the two swords he's carrying the other five so you really don't know what he's thinking or she but yeah we have temperance next to it so it's not a Sagittarius you're dealing with again kind of taking their time like the knight of coin right we got kind of different energies magician chariot fast energy movement page of cups though is good communication might be a water sign but this is probably communication of like let's go out again I want to see you again I'm going to talk to you so I'm not sure if there's no communication right now, if you guys, this is a newer relationship, you met this person recently, it could be last couple months. So far, this does not really look like a long-term relationship to me, but this could be once I get into the reading. And could there be a third party? One of you is already married, absolutely. But the nice thing is that you are immediately showing up in the first row. So a lot of people I notice are getting out of long-term relationships right now. They're no longer, you know, they need to, they've outgrown them. They need to move on. Okay, Page of Cups, Nine of Cups went flying out to the side just now. So again, more communication, wanting to be with you. Oh my, okay. Things are getting, things are heating up here. So let me go. What are they thinking about Capricorn? Capricorn. Well, yep, yeah, lovers. Four swords. But then again, four swords to me is a card of, you know, not doing anything sitting there Nine, but a wish fulfilled hmm okay let's see ten of coin possibly seeing the future with you okay they might be already married or you might be ten of coins that kind of does represent that to me sometimes but um that might might hold them back that might be why you're seeing like movement and then stop movement then stop they love you or they like you here this energy here but then four swords are not doing anything really or they could be thinking about this. So let me see. Seven of Wands. Okay, Five of Wands is under there right now also. So we have all these Wands showing up. So Eight of Wands, moving it forward. Communication. Or Seven of Wands kind of blocking it or walking away from somebody else. Or Let me look at this really quick. Okay, for some of you, they may see definitely long-term. You know, Ten of Coin can be a committed relationship or whatever that means it, it is more of someone is this is more than just they, okay now this may have started out as kind of more of a one night stand hit it quit it type of thing with three of cups actually but it's changing that might be what i'm seeing here for some of you this is newer it may have been where this person was saying things you know the magician oh yeah i love you let's go out again blah 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 and then looks like it's shifting the relationship if that's how it started is shifting to where this person is actually seeing you as someone they really are falling in love with or someone that they like they want to be with i can read it that way definitely i'm seeing that does appear to be kind of something that they're not telling you i'm going to say that though this person has other things on their mind i don't know if it's they're already married or there's someone else involved but i think if there's someone else involved because you showed up right here you are changing their mind there's definitely no doubt that there's feelings for you creeping in. And maybe they weren't expecting this. Maybe they were expecting to seven of swords, maybe lie to you, keep something hidden. But it's like there's an attraction growing here. So it's like they're thinking, okay, 
either take this far with you, Ten of Coins, or they have somebody else, another person involved, which you may or may not know about, but, or communicate, you know, communication, or Seven of Wands, push it away. Because under the deck with that Five of Wands, it does tell me that they're conflicted in their mind. Now, let's do another row to see how this is going. Yeah, they're wondering about you. They're daydreaming. They're wondering. Uh, they're wondering how things would be with you long term, how you feel about them. This is also the card. A lot of times I see that, you know, someone might be thinking about, you know, having a home together because there's a castle there traveling with you. How would money be? You like animals. You know, a lot of different scenarios are in each of those cups. So they're kind of going, like this could be the daydreaming card of someone that can, you know, they think about a wedding or they think about, you know, getting a dog together or where do you want to live compared to where they, so they're going through a lot in their mind right now when they think about you. And then again, I've seen this card, I'm sorry, I'm just, I have to, because this came in too, where they start thinking about, well, I'm not going to be able to date other people. You know, that's some of the negative side. I'm, I'm going to be tied down. Um, what about my friends that came through? What about like me spending more time with my friends? You know, I like to go and golf or something. Now I can't, I'll have this person. So I think this person is falling in love or falling for you or back in love. Maybe for some of you, it doesn't really feel like this is a long-term relationship to be honest. Some do, some don't. This one kind of feels newer. So it's kind of like they're thinking about all the good and bad things with that seven of cups. So push you away, but they're starting to fall in love. Sorry, I know I'm repeating myself, but that's kind of what I'm seeing here. Another row, please, or another line, please, for what they're thinking about Capricorn. Listening to their intuition, holding back. Again, there's that conflict. Five of Wands within themselves, probably. Ace of Wands, Five of Swords. This person has some ego, though. I think they have some ego and uh, a little bit of nerve. Because Five of Swords can be kind of like, okay, I'm going to win this. Seven of Swords. Some of this magician, you know, he can be lying. He can be he can be telling tales and, and saying things that aren't true. Nine of Wands, though, I'm not sure. Ten of Cups. Oh. All right, Ace of Coin, which is interesting. Nine of, Knight of Swords. Three of Swords is behind that. Okay. Could be potential of them. Okay. All right. I can see kind of what's going on here. I'll come back to that. Let me see this, though. This person, ultimately, I see they want to start something with you. But the, I feel like they're going to be kind of aloof. They're not going to put it all out there. Even though we have Nine of Cups, we have things showing up. I feel this is more internal for them as, as opposed to external, what they're showing you. They're going to hold back with the Four of Coins, though they want to move forward, Ace of Wands. It's going to be a little bit more about them than you, though, with this person right now. Okay. They have, they have other things, either they've been hurt before in relationships, which I'm seeing here, or they don't want to lose you because they are falling in love is what I'm seeing under the deck here. They don't really, I feel like this person is not in touch with their emotions. They don't like to be vulnerable. They don't like to express this to other people or even themselves. So the five of swords is kind of like card of winning, kind of like they're not even really realizing that they're falling in love yet. I think they are, but either they're protecting their heart with the nine of wands is kind of what I'm feeling for some of them. Because maybe this person has been hurt badly in the past, and but as well as you, Capricorn, but it's like they don't want you to break through this wall quite yet. They don't want to allow this yet, but they, so they're going to come off, I think, a little bit closed off, a little bit aloof in this relationship, but yet they're seeing Ten of Cups with you. They're seeing long-term. They're seeing happiness with you. And so I'm seeing that's why, now they're offering a coin underneath the deck, which isn't a cup, so that's why I'm saying there's a little bit of a contradiction or something with this person. This may not be the easiest relationship to start with, to be honest, with what I'm seeing here. I don't feel like this person's being honest. I think they're going to hide, hide a lot, and you're going to have to make them be able to trust you and open up more and be more vulnerable in, in order for this relationship to work. Because they're kind of working, what I'm seeing, on a surface level with you. So again, they may have been hurt in the past, So, but this almost looks like they don't want to lose you. Knight of Swords, you know, he may chase you down because they don't want to be brokenhearted. Strength would mean this is kind of hard for them to feel vulnerable like this, but yet they are. Knight of Swords, they're worrying. Worrying possibly about losing you, worrying about... I don't feel like they're worried about getting hurt. I don't. I feel like this is more protect, a protective stance. Yes, Knight of Wands with them here. 
But it's also a little bit more of an ego also here more than anything. This feels more like, as I'm sitting here feeling it, looking at it, more like I don't want to lose Capricorn. What happens if I lose Capricorn? What happens if they date somebody else? What happens if I don't you know, open up or make my move? You see what's behind the three of wands. Two of coins, two of swords, fool, energy, king. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I am seeing a little bit of this person being egotistical. A little bit more about them. What can they get out of the relationship? What would make them happy? Uh, this could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius, but this could also be someone who feels like the world bends to their needs, actually, Capricorn, to be honest. Um, not that this is can't change and become more about emotions. It doesn't look like it's really there yet. Even though we have Knight of Cups lovers, I do feel like there's a strong connection between the two of you, but they may not be open to admitting that yet. You know what I mean? They're afraid to open up and they're afraid to realize that they actually are truly falling in love with you, but they don't want to lose you. So I don't think they're going to show their vulnerable, vulnerable side because we do have page of cups here, which is a nice, nice card too. It shows some emotions, some cups, nine of cups, wish fulfilled, but that's also my eating drinking card going out together. You guys get along well. You guys have your friends. Everyone's blending. Everything's just kind of working out in this relationship. You guys like the same things. So this is actually has a lot of potential to go somewhere definitely between the two of you it may have started out as maybe just something very very casual and they weren't expecting it even to go this way but i do see it they definitely want to i just heard move in together which is not really what i've even seen up until now but um actually i don't i just heard that moving in together um yeah they see a future they definitely see something with you Capricorn that maybe they weren't expecting so they might be waiting for you to open up they may want to see how you're feeling also before they open up fully but they also are worried about I think losing you because I think if they lost you right now it would actually break their heart with three of swords they would be sad so they're going to have to be vulnerable with that strength card and make a move so i'm also now picking up some of you may not even be talking to this person there could be a four week delay here no communication and all of a sudden they may kind of like switch with the knight of swords energy and come in very quickly so lots going on with this person but this is actually good this is movement this isn't i don't see this person sitting around for a long long time thinking about this they have a lot of mix of coins cups wands action you know a little some thinking in here daydreaming about you seeing a future so this is actually nice this is a person who actually looks like they are really falling in love and that they're going to take some action so that's good so capricorn i'm going to leave it here have a really good week you guys and take care